Hey everybody, welcome back to A Slice of Gaming. I'm Leonly Python 4, and anyone who still argues that a game cannot be art clearly has not played Crazy Buzz for the Sega Genesis, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. And, as you can see, this intro is so emotional, so thrilling. I'm just gonna sit back for 10 seconds and just let you guys soak this in. Now, whoever made this song is pure genius, because it is the exact same backwards as forwards. And this is quite possibly the best thing that's come out of Venezuela in terms of video games. It was made back in 2004, and I know it's pretty recent for a Sega Genesis game. But enough talking about the intro, enough talking about these amazing realistic graphics. Let's get this game started. I bet you're wondering just exactly what this game is all about, and it's actually a realistic driving bus simulator. So we got three different buses to choose from. We got the Izar Sentry, the Bus Car Visa Bus, and the Autobus Escalar, or the, aka the school bus. And I know what you're all thinking, and I know you're pretty jealous of this, but I am going to make your memory of the ride to school go away from just playing this game, because you will look at this, and you will hope that this was your ride to school. You're going to be floored. Trust me. So we're going to pick C, the school bus, and I will play us all the buses. Don't worry, don't worry. Calm your pants down, relax. I will do all of them. So let's do the school bus first. These loading screens are so awesome. And basically the controls are very, very realistic and easy. So you just have to move your bus from left to right. There's our bus! Oh my gosh. See, it moves forward. It moves backwards, just like a real bus, and it actually clocks our position on the screen there. You can see it's clocking that we're at 51. If we go backwards, we're suddenly at 22, and it'll actually say if we press the A button. And in case you're wondering what that sound is, that is the horn. That's That sound is just so wonderful, so realistic. I mean, how... D I'm blown away. These graphics... This animation is so flawless. And I mean, look, we're back to where we were already. This bus went around the world in 20 seconds or less. And oh my gosh, we're, we're going around again. Sit, sit down! Sit down, kids! Kids, sit down! I know, I know what you're thinking. Kids, you need to calm down. This ride to school is adventurous. And I know what you're thinking. You look beside you, and you see the graphic of the bus in the background. And you're thinking, oh my god, this artwork is just awesome. And something that I realized when I was kind of playing through this game as a test run, that if you hold down the horn button while not moving, you can't move at all. It doesn't let you move. And I think that's awesome. I mean, right now, we are stopping for all the kids who are crossing their street. Right now. Everybody cross the street. The horn's going. Out of the way, everybody! School bus. Yeah! Now, if you're wondering, how, how do I go back and switch between buses? Well, you have to actually reset the game in order for you to go back. And this trip, oh, this trip, you can emulate this school bus trip as much and as often as you want to. Because this, it never ends. I know you're really excited. I know. I know. You, you need to put your pants back on. Put them back on. It's okay. Whew. We're good. Now, you're probably wondering, how high do those numbers go? And I haven't actually tested it full out to see how high the X position can go, because probably the numbers go up to where those colons are, and I don't want to excite you too much by this gameplay and let you sit here and watch me drive this bus all the way to the end. I mean, this bus has been around the world at least ten times now. Ten times. Within what? Two minutes. Can your bus do that? No, I don't think so. Do you remember your school bus doing that? No. No, no, you don't. You don't. And you actually have to hold down the button, which is real, because you, you have to hold down the gas, gas button in real life to keep the bus going. And look, we're, we're already clocked at 4,000. 4,000 in the X position. And I mean, it seems like you're not going anywhere, but well, look at the, the, the clock. We have done 4,000 kilometers on this thing alone. And I know you're thinking, can this bus go any faster? No. 
No, you've got a passenger full of kids. You can't go any faster than this. No. And yet, we can also honk the horn while we're while we're driving too. Oh man, I I know you're really excited, but I need to do another one. I need to do another bus. So I'm just gonna reset this here. And I know what you're thinking. You're really excited to hear this intro again. Just listen to it. Just listen to it. And look, it even gives credit to which bus that you're actually driving. So we're going to drive the first bus that they gave us, which is the Isarar, or Irizar, sorry, intracentry bus. So let's press start and press A. Once again, we're given this amazing picture. And the loading street. Look! Look at this bus! Look at it. It's so much longer, but yet it's so much easier to drive. I mean, the, it, actually, there's no difference. Sorry, sorry. There's just no difference. We're just carrying more people. We're driving people through the city. And I mean, I know you wish your bus was purple too. And I'm guessing that's as high as the numbers go. Is right. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait, wait, wait. Let's find the perfect the perfect balance here. Let's we'll see how high the numbers go until it clocks back to one. Oh, there we found it. You saw it here, folks. That's as high as you can go. Sixty five thousand five hundred and thirty five. And then and then all of a sudden Oh, you're back. You're back. But you can go backwards. It's okay. We can go backwards, too. We have to watch where we're going. And the horn? The horn sounds exactly the same. Because you know what? It's the crazy bus. You're probably wondering, it's a different bus, but... Why isn't this horn different? It's a bus! It's crazy bus, actually! This... This game is bringing tears to my eyes. It's bringing tears to my eyes. I mean, I know you guys hear me say that I've never played Sega too much. I played Sonic the Hedgehog. That's about it. And I heard about this game. I heard about it. And I just, I had to try it. And I'm so glad I did because I'm just awestruck right now at just how amazing this is. Sega Genesis, thank you. You have put my Nintendo heritage to shame with Crazy Buzz version 0 0.7. And there are other versions out there. The only way you can get this game is online. Because you can't get this game in stores. They don't they don't sell this in stores. Why? Why wouldn't they? They'd make millions from this. I mean, pfft, who would have thought that... I mean, if Atari back then released this game instead of E.T., think of how much better they'd be doing right now. Just think, just think about it. Doesn't that blow your mind? Okay, I'm getting carried away here. I gotta show off the other bus before I get crazy. And let's just skip past this and show the last bus, the bus car! I'm guessing this is the, the bus that they use in Venezuela to transport people around. The other bus looked a little bit too big. I'm thinking this is the actual bus. You know what? I've never been to Venezuela before. And just to say, I probably never will. Just because of the fact that I don't travel that much. But I can probably say that if this this right here is just a memory of anyone who's from Venezuela, just think back. Think back to the horn of Crazy Bus. Think back to the horn of Crazy Bus. Do you remember it? I don't know if they're green. And I just noticed something. There's actually a light at the top of the bus that glows green when you honk the horn. At least for this bus. I didn't notice it for the other ones. That is amazing. That is amazing. There's actually a light to warn people when the bus, when the bus rings its horn. Because you never know. I mean, what if somebody's deaf and they can't... They can't hear this! And you know what's awesome? I let go of the button right now and the horn is still going and I can't move until 
I let go of one of the keys. Oh, this game. So simple to easy to pick up. I recommend this for anyone that's out there. I hope you guys enjoyed Crazy Bus, because I know I did. I'll catch you guys on another walkthrough, and to end this game appropriately, I will leave you with the theme song of Crazy Bus that will be in your mind for the rest of the day.